Good morning, Jay Sarah. I'm Jack Davis. And I'm Kelsey Lavisa. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the, the Lion Report. Report. We have a long show for you this morning, so please bear with us. First, let's go to Cat Hendricks to find out the latest on the Virginia shooting. It struck around 6.45 a.m. in Virginia when two young broadcast journalists were killed in the middle of a live interview. Anchor Allison Parker and cameraman Adam Ward were shot by 41-year-old Bryce Williams. Williams has been described as a bitter former employee who worked at the station two years ago until he was fired for having rage and anger issues and engaging in physical altercations with coworkers. He targeted Allison and Adam because they supposedly made offensive comments regarding his race and sexuality. He sued and reported both instances, but no evidence was ever found and the claims were described as baseless and fabricated. The encounter began when Adam and Allison were interviewing a woman at an outdoor off-site location. Bryce waited until his crime would be pushed live to everyone across the state, including Adam's fiance, who was watching from the control room, and then walked up to Allison first, killing her and then turning to Adam. In another sickening twist, not only were the murders recorded and pushed out live, but in addition, Williams held the gun in one hand and he held his phone in the other, recording the crime that he would post to Facebook. Immediately following the shooting, he bragged about it on Twitter and emailed a manifesto to ABC News. In it, he cited revenge for the recent Charleston shootings as his motivation and praised mass murderers such as the men behind the Virginia Tech and Columbine shootings. He wrote that if a race war is what the Charleston shooter wants, then a race war is what he's going to get. He then went on a high-speed chase with police during which he shot himself in the head and crashed his car, dying at the hospital hours later. Our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their loved ones. Keep the shooting victims and their families in your prayers. In other major news, the verdict has been reached in the trial of James Holmes. Holmes, who was responsible for the 2012 Colorado movie massacre, was sentenced to life in prison yesterday afternoon. Holmes will serve 12 consecutive life sentences as well as an additional 3,312 year sentence for his crimes. Holmes murdered 12 and injured around 70 people. Now Kels, let's segue into some lighter news. <laughs> In announcements, juniors and seniors who received mostly A's and B's on your last semester's report card. If you want to be a continuing or new member of the California Scholarship Federation, please fill out an application and attach a current transcript of your grades printed by the counseling department. Make sure you turn in your application with the transcript to either Mrs. Houston or Mrs. Adams by September 4th. Now, let's go to Nurse McCarthy to get some tips on how to stay healthy this year. Jay Sarah, I want to welcome you back to another year at Jay Sarah. And we hope this is going to be a great year of health and happiness for you. We've already noticed that many of you are coming in with coughs and colds, sinus infections, that morning headache. We'd like to suggest that you get a good morning breakfast, you get a good night's sleep the night before, that you make sure you wash your hands really well, and that you cover that cough. And if you need anything, we're here to serve you. So I hope you have a really wonderful year again for 2015-2016. Make sure to stay clean and healthy, Jay Sarah. For sure. Hey juniors, there is still time to sign up for the Fall Unstoppable Retreat. It will take place during September 2nd through 4th at the Irvine Ranch. If you're interested, please come and sign up on the news and announcements section of the parent portal on the Jay Sarah website. The deadline is tomorrow. Hey Jack, are you going to the varsity football game tomorrow to come watch the Lions take on a victory? I actually am. I can't wait to see all the crazy Lion Nation fans out there to support. Please be there at 7 p.m. at Saddleback College to cheer on your football boys as they take on Long Beach Cabrillo. Continuing on in sports news, the girls volleyball team will host Chino Hills for scrimmages on Thursday in the gym at 4 p.m. Come out and cheer on your Lady Lions. Jack, I know you are a junior, but did you know that your class won the first spirit contest? I did. I saw the white junior flag flying high the other day, so let's keep it up, juniors. <laughs> Freshmen, sophomores, and seniors, you guys need to step up your game and beat the juniors. All classmen, please wear your spirit colors to the game tomorrow night. Mrs. Chenault will be there at the front gate counting you all wearing your class colors. The new winner will be announced Monday. Let's check out once again what colors to wear on Friday. <laughs> Freshmen on Friday, wear gold or yellow. Sophomores, don't forget to wear crimson. Hey juniors, remember to wear white on Friday. And don't forget us seniors, wear black.
sure to wear your assigned colors and show some J. Sarah spirit. Great job to all the seniors who are creative sparking parking spots. Don't forget, the Makeup Paint Day is this Saturday, August 29th from 7 to 3 p.m. Speaking of seniors, seniors, you do not need to buy your yearbooks. They are included in all of your senior fees. Hey, Kels, I heard Mr. Higgins' first assignment for period 7 was a chase scene. Let's go check out what Kane and Herm Rocio has to show us. Oh, hey, Jay Sarah. I didn't see you there. I'm Kane and Herm Rocio, and this is going to be my film called Good Gravy. It's a chase scene that I've been working on in filmmaking. And actually, it's done right now. Let's check it out, shall we? Always great to see Kanan back in action on the Lion Report. All right, hang in there, Lions. We are almost finished with these overly repeated announcements. All Lion Transfer students, please come join the Transfer Lions Club at their first meeting this Thursday in the counseling office during second lunch. Lion fans, we have a new tradition this year. Come out and come out and hop on the Lion bus and cheer on our varsity football boys at the away game. To hitch a ride on the bus, print out a permission slip and return it to Brooke Davis and pay $15 by Monday, August 31st. So Lions, a meeting is coming up about the annual Peru trips. There are two available this school year, one over Thanksgiving break and a second over spring break. The information meeting for parents and students will be Monday, August 31st at 6 p.m. in the West Center Room. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors are eligible to apply. Students, I'm sorry, students will be chosen <laughs> by lottery and priority will be given to seniors. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Kennedy in room 3214. Going to Peru last year changed my life. Meeting the kids, visiting orphanages, and donating food and clothes was the perfect way to spend my Easter break. I hope to see those who are interested at the meeting this Monday. Also, a big congratulations to our 1516 NHS officers. Drum roll, please. Our president is Haley Kemp, vice president is Antoinette Bailey, secretary Logan Carroll, treasurer Carrie Askerzani, historian Talene Ratanji, and international student officer Stephanie Chalstegi. Congrats, guys. We have one more quick announcement for you guys before we end the show. All students who applied for LEAD do not forget to sign up for group interview time. The, the sign-up sheet <laughs> is today at the front desk. Please sign up today. Sophomores are required to sign up today, and all other classes can sign up next week. That's <laughs> well, that's a wrap for today, Jay Sarah. Once again, we apologize for the lengthy show, but I'm Kelsey LaVisa. And I'm Jack Davis. 
and this, this has been, been The Line, Line Report. Report. A special happy birthday shout out to Ashton Underwood and Chantal Nolet. And to Mr. Higgins tomorrow. Have a great three-day weekend, Jay Sarah, and Seniors, buy your yearbooks. Seniors, don't buy your yearbooks. Don't They're buy included. them. Don't buy them.